this video, we're going to attempt to explain how to repair a broken string of pixels. So first thing that you need to know that's very most important is you have a male end of the string and you have a female end of the string. This being the female because it has the, uh, the holes for the pins that the male pins connect into. Um, understand that the male connector is always going to be the beginning of your string. The female connector is the end of your string. And with these specific lights, these LEDs, they go in a specific data-driven direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these up here and show you that on each of these nodes you can see there is a circuit board. Each circuit board there is writing on the board, and I'll get up I'll see if I can get up real close for, for you to see here. You can see where it says on the left there, it says 12V, you see a DI, and then you see ground. Those are your three wires. So the DI stands for data in, meaning the direction that data travels into this pixel uh, LED. Now, if we flip this over, hopefully we can get a little bit more clear. Uh, there is no specification to the direction, or there's no arrows or anything showing the direction of the data. And what you really have to look for is the DI or data in. Sometimes there might even be at some point or other, there might be a little arrow that points in the direction of the data towards in the up position that would indicate the data flows in out this pixel and into this one. So if you do have arrows on your pixels, then that would be significant. Um, if, if not, the important thing to look for is the designation of DI or data in. Now, conversely, you might have a DO that says data out. Okay, with that in mind, what we're going to imagine is you have a string of lights that you have connected to a controller and it's testing. And let's say that we have all of these lights work great. They're connected into the controller. And then at the end of the string, or in the middle of the string, we have this light that works, but this light doesn't seem to be working. And everything down here, it's kind of either stuck on or it's not doing anything, but this is all working and changing colors and, and flowing correctly. But somewhere along here, this one still sort of works and this one doesn't seem to be paying any attention to what the rest of the string is doing. So what we do is we find the pixel that stops working and we find the last pixel that seems to be working and we're gonna cut these two out. So with our uh, little pair of dikes here, You'll end up cutting right here. And you want to cut these two pixels specifically out. You're going to replace two pixels anytime you have one bad one. And the bad one is typically this pixel here, the, the one that still works, because it's not passing the data onto this one. This is why it's really important to make sure that you utilize the image here that says data in and that you verify that the data out would be on the opposite side. So you're taking two pixels and you're cutting them out. Now, um, if you if if this happens and you have you have to grab another string of lights, what you would do is you would uh, utilize a fresh string of lights. Uh, you could start at the very beginning. I could untie these, and you could start at the very beginning and snip off two pixels in succession, just like so. And what you would want to do is you'd want to splice them back into this string. Uh, so we know that these two are bad. Now this, this, this is just for demonstration purposes only. What we'll do is we will go ahead and connect these two strings. We're gonna, we could say we cut them off of this set right here. And they are in succession. We've cut two very good uh, pixels off of the other string. And what we're going to do is we're going to introduce you to 
our Scotch Lock UY2 connectors. So what these are is, you're, and you're going to need six of these to complete your repair kit. And from here, uh, the only other tool that we're really going to need is a pair of pliers. So what we're going to do is we're going to, once again, we're going to look at our pixel and say, where's our DI or data in? And that would be this side here. So these both are data ins. They go right in line. This would be your data outside. So data in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to separate the wires. So it's also important to know that because some strings, uh, you know, some strings get uh, may from year to year, the the uh, strings that we we receive may be built differently, or the circuit boards might become uh, may may come in differently. So you have to pay attention also to the fact that there is possibly um, the data in may not be in the middle, uh, the twelve volt may not be on the left here and the ground may not be on the right. These might be in a different order on a different string of pixels. So it, keep that in mind. So what we'll do is we've split these up. We're gonna go ahead and split these wires up. We know that this is the beginning because this is where the male end is. And it's very important to know which, uh, which, male, which end is the male. We said earlier that the male end is where all of the data comes from and it has to go in direction. If you hook these up backwards, if you put this on the wrong way, if you put them on backwards, data will not flow through here and these, these will not work. So it's important that we match up each of the wires in succession to the 12 volt, the data in, and the uh, ground. So now what we'll do is again, we can look at this pixel and we can say, uh, which is our, uh, which side is what? We have ground on this side of the uh, connector. We have data in the middle, and then we have 12 volt here. So this is our 12 volt, and this is our 12 volts. So these two 12 volts are gonna go together. And this is as easy as it gets. So we'll just go ahead and we will slide these right into the, um, well, I guess I could do just one at a time. Slide it right in there and then slide this right in there. And then all we're gonna do is we're going to take and we're going to hold, I'm gonna hold them in there and then I'm gonna squeeze. And you can see there's a little bit of grease that squeezed out of there. That is what is known as dielectric grease. Some came out on the, uh, on the uh, pliers there. You don't need any special pliers, just any regular pliers will do. And that's all we're gonna do is we're going to crimp in and this is why you need six individual connectors to go ahead and make this repair kit so that you can repair any strings that you happen to have that are not working as what they should be with the rest of the set. So these do happen from time to time. Uh, once you get everything up and rolling, everything should run just fine, but you might find one or two of these go bad throughout the season and you'll uh, depending on where they're at and what prop has them, you may uh, may decide to uh, make um, the replacement uh, or you may not. Uh, but this is definitely the easiest way to make the replacements is to do so in this such manner. So again, um, what's going on inside the uh, capsule here? Now, this is dielectric grease, like I said. Uh, it's also... It's also uh, got a way to pierce through the jacket of the wire. And once it pierces through the jacket of the wire, it's just making a connection. So. Oh. And there you are. Now all we have to do is connect this end here with this end here and our string repair has been completed. So again, you're gonna double check. You're gonna make sure that you're connecting the voltage plus to the voltage plus. So we, we know that the voltage plus is on this side, the voltage, the ground is on this side and the data is in the middle. We can uh, uh, look here and verify that the data plus 
data in and uh, I'm sorry, the voltage plus the data in and the ground is in the same order. So just verify that with every set. Now, um, uh, pretty much these are uh, uh, standard and mostly they, they should all work with interdependently between each set. So you shouldn't have any trouble uh, getting the... Um, getting the replacements put in there and uh, up and running. So this is, again, this is a rather easy uh, easy procedure. Let me split that out a little more. It needs to go back in a little further. You can turn this on the back side here. You can see that it goes in. Oop. Let me push them wires in just a little bit further. There you go. See how they're all the way to the edge there? That's important. Yep. So it's important to make sure that they're all the way pushed to the edge. The... Uh, that little wire uh, connector inside there is what connects them um, and allows for that connection to be made. So there you have it. You have... Uh, um, some solid waterproof connections remade in this string. If you were to plug this back in, now make sure anytime you do this, it's unplugged. You do not want to cut any wires whenever there is power going through these. And uh, as long as there's no power going through them, um, cutting them won't, won't hurt the fuses or anything. So there you go. If you have any questions, be sure to hit us back. Thanks for watching.